Freemason sex parties. <sighs> I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Okay, somebody is tinfoil hatting it. Oh, okay, I've already read welcome employees. Alright, let's listen to more of these hollow tapes here. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. <sighs> Jesus, lady. This is Vault Tech interview number zero three. For the position of Overseer for Vault 114, interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as Overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your Vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well... I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Alright, let's talk about these fellows. The first one that we heard was clearly a tinfoil hat in it. The second lady, she needs to be thrown into heavy machinery. Oh my god, did you hear her bragging about her debate team and her bake sales and all the stuff that we all hate? Well, at least all that, all the people on the internets hate. There they are. How do you want to play this? Well, I say let's go guns a blazing. But the last guy, people yearn for government? No, we don't. People yearn to be left alone. That's pretty much it. Alright, your turn, Mr. Valentine. Let's see what your worth is all about. You just gonna let me do all the shooting? You just gonna conserve ammo? Okay, that grenade toss didn't go as planned, but I did get a kill off of it. Yeah, get it together, Valentine's. Get it together. 
I got you, dog meat. Don't worry. I mean, sometimes you get in the way and you are annoying, but I am not a cruel owner. Oh my god, I'm going to die, aren't I? Barely made it out of that skirmish. Alright, Valentine. Go and loot the bodies, get whatever ammunition you can get, and if they have some vegetables with them, take that too. Do whatever you want with the rest of the body, you know, not my business. But yeah. Alright, let's just uh, scan the area to see if we can find a unique weapon. Because I feel that every vault has a unique weapon. Or at least it should have. Or it should have unique clothes. Well, I think I did pick up a a Volt 114 jumpsuit already. I think I did that. Oh. Man, they stuffed their, they stuffed the nerd in a locker and just left them there to die. Man, Jesus. These uh bullies back in the old days were not playing around. Maybe it was one of the one of the tonal snakes that did this. Hey, it could happen. You never know. They could they can form their own little gang that's similar to the tonal snakes from Volt 101. You don't know that. Because you know, tonal snakes rule and plus this vault is in a subway station so it's not all that uh private it isn't built into the side of a mountain or anything it's in a subway station so there had to be a couple people who stumbled across this station maybe some ghouls stumbled upon this station and found the vault 114 now I've I haven't seen really a lot of remains of the residents that used to live here. I saw that one guy that was stuck in the locker. And he... Alright, you do that. And he's just skeleton, so where's the rest of the skeletons? Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. And the only bodies that I'm seeing is the ones that I'm making. Ah, uh, but I, uh... I digress. I think that's a proper term. Oh, there's still more goons for me to shoot? Alright. I thought there was something in there. Whoa! Hey, Valentine. You need to be more aware of your surroundings. That guy almost ripped your head off with that bat. Gain five plus action points. Am I freaking seeing or awesome? This boy's cutting after all. Dirty rats. Making me jumpy. Yes, it's just the rats and the wind. It's just, it's just the wind that's making that noise in my house. All the windows are closed, but still the wind, it sneaks up on you. And then it tries to sneak up on you with a, a flesh-shaped cylinder with a little helmet on it. It's all weird. It's like, oh no, please stop, wind. Stop, you're, you're making me want to call an adult. The wind tells me I am an adult. Uh, I'm screwed. Now that we have Nick Valentine's, are we supposed to, uh... Here oh, I didn't actually want to do that. But that's a good position for me to actually shoot the guy. But I was not prepared for that. I was super unprepared. What I was thinking, it was a, it was just another closet for me to explore, but nope. 
Let's see if I can do the old uh, Call of Duty grenade there. Oh yeah, did you see that? Off the off the wall grenade kill 360 no scope with no hands. You guys remember when when Call of Duty used to be cool and good? Now it's just it's just like eh, whatever. Excuse me, that bat's in my face. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna resist this wood crate. I just saw it on the side of my eye. It's like, wait a minute. Is that a wooden crate? Wooden crates always have things to give. Nah, I'm not gonna take the TV tray because TV trays are not made of steel and they're not made of aluminum. They're made of plastic. Using a stealth boy or something? Work. And I'll take these tin cans too. They're perfectly preserved. No rust on them, no nothing. Uh, I think I'm done here. I see a lot of booze there, but I'm not an alcoholic. Oh, is that a nursery? Oh man, I'm getting... I'm getting uh, Dead Space 2 flashbacks you guys remember when you had to go into the nursery and it was just uh creepy and disturbing and whatnot man guy you got a hard head I at least pumped nine or ten bullets right into your face and you didn't even you didn't even flinch well, he flinched a little bit, but you get what I'm saying. But yeah, you guys remember Dead Space 2 is all... Yeah, that's a, that's a memorable... That's a marble red 100 right there, if I ever saw a marble red 100. No, what I mean is, that's a very memorable uh, segment of Dead Space 2 when you gotta go through those nurseries and you find out what happened to the kids. Yeah. In a very God. gruesome way. They explode. And then they then you have the little toddlers that got infected with the uh I was gonna say Los Plagas, but they're not Los Plagas. You know what they're Don't you know what I'm talking this. about, the uh necromorph disease thing. And they are uh pain in the ass. Is they come at you in packs. I should play Death Space 3. I have not played Death Space 3. You're like, wait, but aren't you a big fan of Death Space? Like, yes, I am, but I just didn't get around to playing Dead Space 3. Mm, I was contemplating on picking up that whiskey, but now... No, I'll stick to my word that I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a booze hound. Yes, I could sell it, but I need the space the in my inventory for somewhere. The name's uh, ironic. For Don't stuff. Dangerous. Another oh, okay. He's fat. I get it. Because his name is Skinny Malone. And he's probably a porker. I got one of those already. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. All right, hold on. Oh, this is new. Residence, residency A1. See, family: Michelle, Michael, wife Joan, daughter Elizabeth, Presley family: Jenna, husband Richard. Okay, I've read that already. Okay, residency eight two. Let's see Baker family: Ralph, fiance, Sarah, dog Spike. Do not allow. Yancey family: Murray, wife Amy, son Jimmy, and Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie. All right, these are the people that lived in this vault, which I've only seen one skeleton of. 
I don't really have to read this, but it just gives me more of a flavor. Smith family. Sean, wife Molly, son Paul, daughter Stephanie, infant. Hey, I used to have an infant son until he got stolen by some dirtbag. But we will discover what happened to him. John, John, John. O'Brien family, Kevin, wife, M Megan, son, Ryan, Brandon, Logan, daughter, Molly, Annie, Kelly, Kalia, and Br Brianna, infant, Todd Gates, bachelor. Okay. Back to what we were doing. What? Let's just open this door. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla, where... where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Oh, Skilly, Ma Skilly Malone tries to act tough, but he has a big heart. Because if I was the gangster, I would have just shot you immediately in the face. Just to make sure Mr. Malone doesn't uh, kill me after 10. Let's close this vault door. Hey. Uh, it isn't closing. All right, whatever. I'm out of here. Where did Valentine go? Oh, he must have went this way. Towards this... Towards the hatch. Yeah, there we go. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? 
Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie, she sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about tracking down a murderer, how he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Oh, I didn't level up after that. Well, I guess that's the breaks, I guess.